SIBA Vision is pleased to present design and fitting of soft contact lenses as part of the technical education series. After viewing this program, a careful study of the manual is recommended for thorough understanding of the material. A working knowledge of contact lens design principles is important to ensure successful contact lens fitting. The overall geometry of a contact lens is comprised of specific components or variables. The measurements of these variables are termed lens parameters. The optic zone, which is located in the center, contains the usable optically powered portion of the contact lens. The area outside the optic zone is called the lenticular or carrier portion and is usually designed to decrease lens thickness and improve comfort. The width of the lens at its widest point is called the lens diameter. The curvature of the central back surface is called the base curve. The base curve is always concave and is expressed in millimeters of radius. The base curve may be spherical or aspheric in shape. A spherical curve has one radius and equal curvature at all points along the curve, much like the inside of a round ball. An aspheric curve exhibits a gradual change in the radius of curvature from the center toward the edge of the lens, much like the shape of the tip of an egg. Each additional curve surrounding the base curve on the posterior lens surface is called a peripheral curve. Edge design and thickness are important for good lens comfort. This ensures that when the eye blinks, the eyelid glides smoothly over the lens edge. A contact lens of a given base curve and diameter will have a specific sagittal depth, or sag. This is the perpendicular distance between the center of the back lens surface and the plane of the edge of the lens. Increasing the sagittal depth steepens or tightens the fit by either increasing the diameter or steepening the base curve. Decreasing the sagittal depth flattens or loosens the fit by either decreasing the diameter or flattening the base curve. Lens thickness affects corneal health by controlling the amount of oxygen passing through the lens. It also affects handling, durability, and comfort. Very thin, high water content soft lenses may cause corneal drying and staining. They are also more prone to damage. A well-fitted contact lens provides good visual acuity, comfort, and maintenance of normal ocular physiology. A comprehensive pre-fitting examination should include the patient's medical and ocular history, refractive findings, corneal measurements, and biomicroscopy. The indications for fitting soft contact lenses are when initial lens comfort or rapid adaptation is desired, when lenses are only to be worn occasionally or there is an inability to wear rigid lenses, for athletic activities and when eye color enhancement is desired. Contraindications for soft lenses are unacceptable visual acuity for refractive or pathological reasons, lens or deposit related allergic conditions such as GPC or other ocular pathologies, a history of soft lens problems and an inability or unwillingness to care for soft lenses properly. The results of the pre-fitting examination are discussed with the patient. The practitioner then chooses diagnostic or trial lenses to obtain the proper fit. A well-fitted lens provides good comfort, stable visual acuity, and complete corneal coverage with enough movement to maintain adequate tear exchange. Generally, a practitioner will select a lens with the appropriate material, diameter, base curve, power, and tint for the fitting. A suitable soft lens material must be selected based upon the clinical needs of the individual patient. A durable, low water content material may be used for patients with handling difficulties. 
Alternatively, a high water content material may be more suitable for prolonged wearing times. The diameter of a soft lens should provide complete corneal coverage. Typical soft lens diameters range from 13 to 15 millimeters. Due to the draping effect of soft lenses, one base curve may fit a range of corneal curvatures. Typical base curves for soft lenses range from 8 to 9.2 millimeters. Start with a base curve suggested by the manufacturer. Otherwise, select one from the middle of the available fitting range. Use plus diagnostic lenses for hyperopes and minus diagnostic lenses for myopes. Soft lens tints fall into several categories. Handling, visibility, or locator tints make the lens more visible for handling. They are transparent, usually light blue or green, and do not alter eye color. A cosmetic tint enhances or completely changes eye color. Two types of cosmetic tints are available. Transparent cosmetic tints are most appropriate for those with light eye colors, which are enhanced by the presence of a tint. Opaque cosmetic tints are indicated when a complete eye color change is desired, typically from brown to a lighter color. They mask the underlying iris color. The diagnostic lens is placed on the eye and allowed to settle or equilibrate prior to evaluation. Equilibration for 15 to 30 minutes allows the lens to assume its position on the eye and the reflex tearing to subside. A biomicroscope or slit lamp is required to properly observe the lens on the eye. The lens is evaluated for comfort, vision, corneal coverage, centration, movement with the blink, with the patient looking up and upon displacement. Corneal coverage should be adequate in all directions. Incomplete coverage can be caused by a too loose or too small lens. Decentration can cause blurred vision and decreased lens comfort. Modern lenses should move up to about a half millimeter with the blink. The amount will depend upon the type of lens, material, and manufacturing method. Inadequate movement indicating a tight fit does not allow adequate tear exchange and can cause buildup of debris and metabolic wastes behind the lens. With a tight fit, vision is typically blurred between blinks as the lens lifts off the cornea and clears immediately after blinking. An immobile lens accompanied by conjunctival indentation and blood vessel closure at the lens edge may lead to inflammation, corneal neovascularization, and acute red eye reaction. Conversely, a too loose lens is characterized by excessive movement, decreased comfort, blurred vision, and decentration. With a loose fit, vision is typically clear between blinks and blurred immediately after blinking. With the patient looking upwards, the lens should drop or lag slightly. The push-up test can be used to supplement movement observations. The practitioner pushes the lens upward with the patient's lower eyelid. The lens should move easily and return smoothly to its original location. A tightly fitting lens will be difficult to displace from the cornea. A loose fitting lens will be displaced easily and may not return to its original location. Some initial awareness of the lens by the patient is normal, but the lens should not cause discomfort. It is important to note that comfort does not necessarily correspond to a good lens fit, as tight lenses are initially comfortable. The lens power is refined by performing an over-refraction. This is a refraction done over the contact lenses to determine the final power. For example, if the over-refraction result is plus 0.5 diopters, and the diagnostic lens is minus two diopters, the resulting lens power should be minus 1.5 diopters. If the first diagnostic lens does not provide an adequate fit, an alternative lens with a different base curve or diameter is chosen. To tighten a loose fit, a lens with a steeper base curve radius or larger diameter should be chosen. To loosen a tight fit, 
A lens with a flatter base curve radius or a smaller diameter should be chosen. To alter the fit even more, both the base curve and diameter could be changed. In review, the characteristics of a well-fitted soft lens include the cornea is completely covered by the lens. The lens is centered about the limbus. Lens movement up to about one half millimeter. There is adequate lens lag. The lens moves readily with the push-up test and returns quickly to its original position. The patient reports a good comfort response and the patient has stable visual acuity with an over-refraction. If the diagnostic lenses meet the criteria of a well-fitted soft lens, the practitioner may proceed to dispense or order the prescription lenses. A successful fitting results in the patient proceeding with contact lenses. They will be taught how to insert, remove, wear, and care for their lenses before they are finally supplied. Patients are required to attend regular follow-up appointments to ensure the ongoing health of their eyes during contact lens wear. The design and fitting of contact lenses involve a complex interplay between the lens design geometry and the requirements of ocular anatomy and physiology. Today's contact lenses are available in a wide array of materials, designs, tints and wearing options, allowing the practitioner to tailor fittings to the patient's individual requirements. Seba Vision is pleased to have brought you this program on design and fitting of soft contact lenses and is dedicated to continuous development of further advances in the field of eye care.